Minecraft Bedrock Edition is the multi-platform version of Minecraft. Some even rumor that it will one day take over Java Edition, which is completely ridiculous. <laughs> Right? To find out if this was possible, I need to experience Bedrock for myself. And the best way to do that is to beat the game. So we created our first world. Survival, difficulty hard, no cheats. Here we are in our first Minecraft Bedrock world. When I turn, it's weird. It's like a little bit delayed. In the distance, we saw a pillager outpost, which could have some very useful gear in the loot chest. It's harder to hit things. We punched our first tree and noticed a handsome figure in the top left corner. Why is that there? Can I remove that? One more block, so let's just leave that there. I want to mess with the settings a little bit, but I have no idea. Um, This is a little bit more normal. Hey, <laughs> like a turtle. Someone give me a plastic straw. It's best not to ask questions. I tried making a crafting table. Oh my goodness, this is weird. It feels like a strange kind of lag. After showing my appreciation to a couple of cows, I took another look at the outpost. Is that a village? That is a village. How did I miss that? Perfect. Nice. Oh, you can see better in the water in bedrock. In the village, I saw something very disturbing. <laughs> he looks so weird when he walks. Oh, that's hilarious. As I lured the village, I spotted a cat and ran off to get some fish, but I quickly got distracted. What, they can swim too? What? Walking in water is so much easier than bedrock. Look at this. Look at this, you're going so fast. Distractions aside, I got the fish and ran to tame a cat. You wanna be my friend? No? You wanna be my friend? No? This gave me flashbacks to grade school. But you know what I never tried in grade school? Shoving raw fish down the other kids' throats. Against all odds, this strategy actually worked. But does it work on people? Hmm. Yeah, we got two cats. What will we name you? Hmm, that's a great question. And I couldn't come up with a good name. So I asked my Discord server, which there will be a link to down in the description if you want to check it out. While I was waiting for a response, I decided I was geared up enough to take on that pillager outpost and get that sweet loot that would help us defeat the Ender Dragon. Things went pretty well until I insulted their stormtrooper aim. Yeah, you can't aim. Where? Oh, ouch. Where's the door? Here's the door. Oh, jeez. Oh, they can come in the door. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Turns out they're a little tougher than Java, but that didn't stop me. I still wanted that loot. And after dying a few times, I thought it would be better if I did a sneak attack. Catch. Shh, shh. Don't give this away. Okay. Uh, okay, you didn't see me. Right. Ah! Oh, this is not going well. But things were about to get worse. Cat? No! Cat died. We lost one of our only friends. We needed revenge. So we crafted up a flint and steel and well, you can guess the rest. <laughs> the bread. Ah, yes. Oh, 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 busted. We're out of here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's one more. Oh, shoot. Ow, 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 ow. I'm trapped. This is not going well. This is not going well. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm trapped. Ah, ah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh gosh, no! Oh, look at that. Yes, cat, we did it. Look, they're burning to death. It was time we forgot about the loot and got geared up so we were able to face the nether, get to the end, and beat the game. So we went mining. Should I really take this cat caving? Of course I should. That's what good cat owners do. Cat, don't go too far. Careful. Oh, jeez. Oh, that drops down far. What's the best thing that you can do when faced with a drop of certain death? That's right. Pay no attention and walk straight off the edge. Maybe this wasn't a good idea to bring the cat. But our luck turned around and we found a geode and made a spyglass. And of course, the first thing that we did was zoom into the face of our cat. <laughs> Speaking of the cat, the people of Discord chose the name Blanket because it looks like it's wearing a blanket on its back. Creative. Come on, Blanket. I'm getting used to the controls on Bedrock, honestly. It doesn't feel so weird anymore. I made a shield and in Bedrock, you shift to use it. Here's me having way too much fun with this. <laughs> We set our sights on another very distant village. We tried to take out the Iron Golem, but I, I swear, they are faster in bedrock. He broke our helmet. Wow, that was a hard hit. I'll free you, villager. You're welcome. I'm taking your bed, though. So we need to find a lava pool or a ruined portal to go to the nether and get some blaze rods for the eyes of Ender so that we can find the stronghold and beat the game. With this in mind, I took Blanket to go find a lava pool. Blanket, 
Come along. We didn't find a lava pool, but we did find another pillager outpost. And this time we were geared up enough to take it on and get the loot. Oh wait, blanket, blanket. You, you stay here, you stay here, girl. We fought fiercely, taking on the first and second levels very quickly, but they caught up with us on the third story. Oh jeez, this was a bad idea. They load their bows so quick. Oh jeez. Up to the last layer. Oh, 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 play of them here. Oh, jeez. He's got a chance to bow. Oh, oh, we got the bad omen. Nothing was really good in the loot chest, but we did remember to burn it down. Burn, baby, burn. Blanket, are you proud of me? No. I'm an arsonist. Still looking for a lava pool, we came across another village. I thought to myself, we can raid that real quick. Which was a poor choice of words because we still had the bad omen. Oh, oh, I forgot about the bad omen. Um, so sorry guys about that. Um, hopefully you do all right. I knew that that raid was my fault and I should go back there to help them. No, I shouldn't, I shouldn't help them. They deserve it. It was at this point, I knew what I needed to do. Okay, fine. Um, I went to the village and defended most of the villagers. All right, villagers, you need to get in your house. Oh. This is not the time to go outside. There's a big raid coming on and it's not my fault. It's your fault for having a village here, all right? If you didn't have a village here, this raid wouldn't be happening. So don't you dare blame this on me. This isn't, okay, maybe it's a little bit my fault, but it wasn't long before I ran out of arrows. Oh, I ran out of arrows. This is not great. And I definitely didn't want to go toe to toe with an angry ravager. Oh no, there's an evoker. Oh shoot. After I'd killed the evoker, I got a totem of undying, which made me slightly overconfident. Oh, easy, easy peasy. Okay, no, okay, not easy. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. You're gonna, hello. Oh geez. Oh jeez, he's got me cornered, oh, oh no. After that close call, I volunteered the Iron Golem to do most of the fighting for me while I hide behind him. It worked for a bit, but in the heat of the battle, we were separated and I had no choice but to flee like a little coward baby. This is where it ends. I'm sorry, village, I brought this upon you. Ah! I'm running. Thank you, Blanket, for always being by my side. I ran as far as I could, as fast as I could, till I found a savanna with some horsies. Oh my goodness. I think this is slower than walking. Oh, this one has way more hearts. Oh, this is actually fast. Now we were a trio, headed back to save that village from our mistakes. Which we named the horse. Hmm, Sandy. We made it back to the village that was under attack and with deadly accuracy, we shot the enemy with our crossbows and sliced them with our swords, all while riding Sandy. It wasn't long before we were the hero of the village. Let's go. Okay, technically it was my fault, but you know what? You're still welcome. Look at the trades. Oh, they love me. We ended up getting four totems and a bunch of other loot. So with the raid out of the way, we decided to go caving. You know, bedrock is different than Java. What? No. With that little nugget of truth out of the way, I knew if we wanted a chance at beating the game, we needed better gear. So our caving intensified. Oh geez. This could be better. But then it did get better because we found diamonds. Yay. But then it got worse as a creeper blew us off a cliff. Ah. Luckily, we had a totem and we were able to recover and make it out alive. I found that you can do emotes, which I find very odd. Wow. I find this very odd. We killed a drown with a trident and he dropped it. Whoa! We were able to get a mending trade from one of the villagers and put it on the trident. There we are, now we're looking pretty shiny. We made an enchanting table. Bane of arthropods, wow. We're pretty geared up, not overpowered or anything, but I believe we are ready to go to the nether. We found buried treasure. Ooh, a music disc. There we are. A. We danced all the way into the night. And in the morning, we hit the road with Sandy and Blanket to go find a way to get to the nether. After only a little while, we found a ruined portal. All right, you two stay here. I'm not taking you into the nether. That's way too dangerous. No place for a kitty cat. It's no place for me. <laughs> I didn't want to go to the nether, but if we were going to beat the game, we needed blaze rods and ender pearls. We left the disc for Blanket and Sandy to enjoy while I was away. Here we go. Bye, Blanket. Oh, that's weird. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa. We were only in the nether a few moments when we spotted another fortress. We quickly made our way to it and started pillaring up. Oh shoot, oh shoot, this could be better. We hid behind a wall and killed lots of blazes. Ooh, first blaze ride, let's go. 
We ran out into the open, which is about the worst place you can be in a fortress, but we were able to locate a blaze spawner right out in the open. Oh, yay. This ain't great. Oh wait, can we place? Oh, we can. Whoa, that's so cool. With the power of a thousand chickens, we struck those blazes down. And I have to say that fire animation takes about 95% of the screen. In Java, it's definitely not that big. All right, back off, hey, back off. Oh, geez. How many blaze rods do we have? 10? Let's get out of here. Go, go, go. Let's get out of here. Look at this. Bridging aside, we made it back to the portal and we're overjoyed to see Blanket and Sandy. We did it, Sandy and Blanket. We got the blaze rods and got, oh, we need ender pearls. Let's have a celebration though. Yeah. After our dance celebration, we crafted some eyes of ender and threw one just to see which direction the stronghold was. I was surprised to see that the eye pointed back where we came from. I'm guessing we have to go pretty far to get the stronghold. But let's just check on top of this hill, just in case. What? Yeah, remember that village that we fought the raid at? Well, it turns out the stronghold was right under it the entire time. You can't make this stuff up. Oh, here it is. It's really been under us the whole time. So we started to explore looking for the portal room. We met a creeper and some other friends, but finally found the portal room and it had no eyes, which means that we would need 12 pearls. And the best way to get pearls at this stage would be to trade with villagers. So we converted some villagers over to Fletcher's and one villager over to a cleric. Hey, do you want to not be a leather worker? Yeah. You probably hate your job. Then we traded sticks for emeralds, then we took those emeralds and then traded them with the cleric for ender pearls. Get these pearls. Let's go. Oh my goodness, they're so expensive. And of course, I had no plans to defeat the ender dragon alone. I would bring Blanket and Sandy with me. They had been with me this far and I was not going to beat the game without them. All right, there we are. That should be big enough for the horse to get down here. For Sandy, ooh, hey cat, don't, don't do it. There we are. All right, no one's getting hurt today. But before we could go to the end where we would likely die, we needed to do something. Let's jam out one last time. I promised myself that this would be the last dance party till we were all back home safely. <sighs> all right, Sandy, this is it. As I prepared myself, I began to have doubts about beating the end. I had never played bedrock before. I had no idea what to expect. I put each eye into place and lit the portal. Ooh, that looks a little bit different than Java. This looks a little bit brighter, like there's more, Ooh. oh. I forgot to push the horse in. Oh no, I gotta beat the ender dragon alone. Unless I die. Hmm. So I made a path for Sandy and died to an enderman. I was back. Here I come, Sandy. Here I come, Blanket. All right, see you on the other side. Oh, there he goes. Come on, Blanket, we're going to the end. I'll see you on the other side, Blanket. There we are. Yeah, hee hoo. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. No. Oh my goodness. Oh no. No, no, horsey, don't, don't leave me too. Ah. No, gosh darn. No. Oh, both my friends are dead. And it's my fault. Bedrock's awful, man. I made a path for you, Sandy. Oh my, oh no, don't. <laughs> oh. It was a heavy blow. I spent countless days wandering, questioning life. I felt lost. I didn't know what to do anymore. Could I even pursue the same goals without them? No, no. But this isn't what they would want. They would want me to go back there and avenge them. We are going to defeat the Ender Dragon, not just to beat the game, but for Sandy and for Blanket. Here we go. It's time the dragon met its end. As we targeted the end crystals with deadly accuracy, the dragon charged us just to let us know that this wasn't gonna be a cakewalk. With many groans and grunts, ah, ooh, eh, mm, 
we took out a few more crystals, and while we were working on one of those cage crystals, the dragon spat his stinky breath at us. Oh, oh, oh. Luckily, we were able to get away from a bit till the dragon charged us. Oh, oh, this doesn't look good. But we were able to regenerate some health and knock out a few more crystals. But unable to take out the cage crystals, we decided to pillar up to the top. Mm. I missed the MLG, but we still survived on two hearts. We picked a time when the dragon was distracted and tried again, this time successfully. We landed the MLG and with two crystals to go, we chose to use the water bucket to get to the top. Let's use the bucket. Mm. Oh geez, he got rid of the bucket. Oh. This was a bad position. If we fell from a high place, it would be certain death. To combat this problem, we killed a few Endermen. Die! With these new tools, we pillared up the side of one of the tallest columns. The dragon charged us, but we used that to our advantage and were able to skip a few blocks in the pillar. Oh, it's just right there. Do we have any more? Oh, bars, can we do that? Yes. We shot the crystal right as the dragon was flying over it, which hurt the dragon a good deal. There was one more tower to take out, which means pillaring up into the danger zone. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. This is gonna Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh no, we're not. Oh, that could have been worse. With one crystal left, we made a tough call to abandon taking out the crystal and focusing all our efforts to try to kill the dragon. We went in with our sword and were able to do a hefty amount of damage. A few beds and the dragon would be dead. Okay, here we go, here we go. Let's do this right. The dragon was able to fly off before we could end it. We fell into more of his stinky breath. We were really low, but so was the dragon. With only two hearts left, we attacked the dragon with our sword. Ah! We were one hit away from ending it. This is it. This one, this one's for blanket. Let's go, yes, it's done. We beat the game, oh my goodness. Gonna be honest with you, there was times I didn't think we were gonna make it. I wish Blanket and Sandy were here. Bedrock is definitely harder than Java, or at least it was for me. Do I think that one day Bedrock will take over Java or that the two will merge? Now that I have experienced Bedrock for myself, I can say for sure, not yet. There are too many differences between Java and Bedrock for them to make one version. And they're just too big of a player base on both versions to eliminate one. So I believe Minecraft Java and Bedrock will coexist together and learn from each other. Well, at least for now. But there's one more thing I need to do. Here lies Blanket. Here lies Sandy. Blanket, thank you for always being there for me. Blanket, I want you to know that I will take good care of your son. And Sandy, thank you for being my friend. I will take good care of your brother. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one. See ya.